to um, talk about the memory verses that I've chosen, and I'll be talking about their definitions. So I picked three, which I find um, more meaningful. So the first one I picked was um, John 3, verse 16. This is how we know what love is Jesus Christ. Lay down his life for us, and we ought to lay down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. So what this verse means is that we need to be nice to people since they are God's creation. He, is, he has done so many things for us, so at least we can do something back. And um, like what God did, he sacrificed himself and died in the cross for us. Um, what he didn't even deserve it. So next I picked Philippians 4 verse 16, I mean 6. So it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present your requests to God. So this verse means, obviously means that God is the highest God and the only God. So why should we fear about anything when he is next to us and he is in our hearts? He is more powerful than Satan, that when he snaps his finger, Satan would never ever exist. He is our light and he guides us in our lives and tell, tells us where to go. So present your requests and he will do anything for you that is good for you. And lastly, I picked Romans 12 verse 2. So it is, do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So this means it's talking about to be separate from this normal world. Think differently, because um, if you accept Jesus Christ in your heart, and you read more about the Bible, you will think more godly, and you will think differently from the other people. So that's it. Thank you. Wow.